Wow. Yes, here we go. Hey guys, I'm here again, and Yosa is behind the scenes today, making sure the camera doesn't stop. Today, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to do a drag queen makeup. I've tried doing it to Yuli in a video before, and she came out looking like Frida Kahlo, so let's try to make it better and look like Miss Valentina. Let's get started. First, we have this right here. If you've never seen one of these before, you didn't have a childhood. Because, in, because when you're in kindergarten, this is all you use, so... I feel like a little kid again. So first, how I don't have a mirror, I'm gonna use my phone. So, we do this. Oh, I almost forgot. I have to put on my wig cap first, so my hair doesn't get in the way. So I have my wig cap here. Which I bought a, a store called Party City, not sponsored by them. So let's try this again. A whippy, a whippy, a whippy. And this side, a whippy, a whippy, a whippy. Okay. So now we're gonna get a little brush or thingy. I don't know what it's called. This thing right here. So we could brush the eyebrow to not let it be um, a big chunk. So it's easier to disappear it. First we have to disappear the eyebrow so we could draw new ones. So we have the first layer of glue stick on. We're gonna need at least three layers. So while that layer dries up, we're gonna get some foundation. I like using one lighter than my skin first because it helps erase the imperfections. But first, before the foundation, I'm gonna add a little bit of highlights right here because it's gonna help get rid of like the dark eye. Get it right here. Do you see that right here? Right. Now we're gonna try a foundation lighter than my skin. Like I said, it helps me with getting a more even tone. When I add the foundation, that's a little bit darker than my skin. So, we start like this. And we're gonna do the cheeks only because we have to add another layer of um, glue stick. So we finish this, only the cheeks. And before we keep doing the rest of the face of foundation, we're gonna do another layer of glue sticks because glue sticks are life. My eyebrows are thick. So they're gonna need a lot of glue stick. Now that we have that done, we're gonna finish the rest of the face on foundation, uh, except for the eyebrows, because we're gonna add a little, another layer before finishing it off. So let's do this. I like this makeup better than the drugstore makeup, because it's way thicker and way easier to use. Not sponsored by them, but it's been my makeup, which is theater makeup. So now, we're gonna end up putting the last layer of glue stick. So we're gonna let the glue stick dry. So we get this and we go. So now, let's add a little bit of highlight on the eyebrow. So much highlight that I'm gonna shine at night. So right now we're adding the highlight, like this. So to make sure 
that we don't mess up the glue. Now we're going to add foundation on top of that. So now that we have that done, we're going to add the foundation that's a little bit darker than my skin so it evens out. Now that we have our foundation done, let's move to contouring. First, we're going to do the shadows and we're going to try to make yourself look skinny. So, here we have our shadows. Then we get a brush that is clean. Now that we have our shadows down, done, we're gonna do our highlights. We're gonna try to make our nose really skinny. Okay. So now that we're done with the highlighting and the contouring, it's time to mix it. Because right now it look weird because it's not mixed. Now that we're finished mixing, we're gonna set it with a little bronzer powder. This one right here. Now that we're done with that, we're gonna go to do in the eyes. So we're gonna add some eyeshadow. So I decided to go for gray and blue. Because the wig is going to be purple. Now that we have finished the eyeshadow. And my eyebrows are totally messed up now because of the brush. I still think I'm going to be pretty. We're going to draw in the eyebrow. Wow. Yes, here we go. So we have our eyebrows done. Which are horrible because I'm, I don't know, me and eyebrows don't mix well. So let's say they're pretty. They're pretty eyebrows. So let's go on to add some color to the cheeks. Now that we have that, it's time to do the lips. We're almost done. We just need one more step. This is the most important step, the eyeliner. Now that we're finished with the eyeliner, we're gonna curl these eyelashes a little bit. Make sure I don't pull them out. It's time to put on the wig. Yes, the look is not finished until the wig is on. Comment in the section below if I did a good job or if I just messed it up. This is the first time I do a drag makeup for the camera and tried erasing my eyebrows. I could have done a better job with the eyebrows, but who cares because you can't even see them. <laughs> so, RuPaul, here I come. So, like, share, comment, give me tips on how to do it better. I'll see you next time. So now that my look is finished, my name is Estrella. Am I sexy? Subscribe for more videos. Thank you. Give it a thumbs up if you think it's cute. Or give it a thumbs up even if you don't think so. Because I don't care what you think. Because I'm beautiful. Even if my hair is falling out.